Sarah, the news came down in the last hour that the Deputy Director of the FBI, Andrew McCabe, is stepping down. Can we get reaction from the White House? And is the President back at the end of December uh, was tweeting ab about Andrew McCabe uh, in a less than e effusive praise manner? Uh, What's he thinking about him stepping there? Uh, look, we've uh, seen the numerous reports, as all of you have, and any specifics, I can tell you none of this decision was made by that of the White House, and any specifics, I would refer you to the FBI, who I believe will be making a statement later so today. You say that the White House was not involved in the decision, but clearly the president seemed to be involved in a public relations campaign against McCain. Oh, look, I, the president stands by his previous comments, but in terms of the uh, situation today, as I just said, we've seen the reports just as all of you have. We don't have any specific comments, and I would refer you to the FBI for any specifics uh, on the things that are taking place today. Jill? Sir, so when you say that you've seen the reports, does that mean that the president was not informed by anyone at the FBI that this was happening? Has he had any conversation with any, anything there? Uh, no, he hasn't. Cecilia. Sir, can you say definitively then that the president did not play a role in Andrew McCabe stepping down? Yes, I didn't say that the president wasn't part of this decision-making process, and we would refer you to the FBI, where Christopher Wray serves as the director, which, as I said last week, and I'll repeat again today, the president has full confidence in him and has put uh, the decisions at the FBI in his hands. And did the president at any time convey that he wanted to fire Robert Mueller to anyone on the staff here? Uh, not that I'm aware of. I should. Thank you. So, and, and just to kind of finish this loop, so no one at the White House contacted the FBI about McKay. No one uh, put any directives or even had any discussions about his his tenure at the at the FBI. Did anyone at the White House? Not that I'm aware of. It. Nothing specific to uh, McCabe and his stepping down as of today, if that is what is being reported. Jim, uh, sir, what would you say to uh, critics? who believe that uh, this White House and this president uh, have had almost sort of a steady uh, uh, pressure uh, put on the Justice Department, put on the FBI, uh, since the president came into office on this uh, special counsel investigation, uh, whether it be conversations with uh, Jeff Sessions' office about his <coughs> refusal, whether it be about uh, this desire for Robert Mueller to go away, uh, and now with Andrew McCabe. Uh, there were even reports that Rob Rosenstein was also feeling pressure from the White House. It sounds like there are multiple officials at multiple levels who are being pressured by the White House, by the President. What would you, what would you say in response to I'd that say what I've said. I would say what I've said probably a hundred times before uh, and continue, uh, will say I'm sure a hundred times today that the White House has been fully cooperative and is going to continue to be fully cooperative. In fact, we've gone above and beyond many times and certainly uh, done everything that we could. The White House has provided over 20 witnesses and tens of thousands of pages of documents to the special counsel. We have done everything we can to be fully transparent and we're going to continue to do that throughout the process. But what about this? notion that the president has been applying pressure for months, steady pressure. The only thing that the president has applied pressure to is to make sure we get this resolved so that you guys and everyone else can focus on the things that Americans actually care about, and that is uh, making sure everybody gets the Russia fever out of their system once and for all, that you are all reminded once again there was no collusion, and that we can move forward to fo focus on things like national security, the economy, and solving the immigration crisis that we have here in our country. No obstruction of justice, no, nothing improper, nothing inappropriate here at all whatsoever from the president since he came into office when it comes to this investigation. No, and I think we've been pretty clear on that. You were asking the question about all this pressure that has been fact, been put on multiple people, as you pointed out, multiple lever, levels uh, of government, right, on, on DOJ, FBI, and right. folks uh, central to this investigation. Because she's saying that, you know, uh, all the questions about McCabe, don't ask us, ask the FBI. But what did she say about the pressure? Uh, you know, I was just looking at this quote. Uh, it, it's pretty remarkable what Sarah Sanders said. Uh, she did essentially say, yes, the president has been applying pressure. Uh, she said the only thing the president has applied pressure to is to get it resolved so you guys and everyone else can focus on the things Americans actually care about, making sure everybody gets the Russia fever out of their system 
once and for all. I mean, that was an acknowledgement there that the president has at times uh, put pressure on officials at the Justice Department and at the FBI. Uh, she did not say, no, there's never been any pressure from the president. There, we, I mean, that would be uh, denying reality to say that there hasn't been pressure from the president when he's uh, tweeted about the attorney general, he's tweeted about the uh, deputy FBI director. Uh, there, we know there are reports, uh, in, including from CNN, uh, that he wanted to fire the special counsel, Robert Mueller, uh, and so on. And and so I think that's a pretty interesting acknowledgement from Sarah Sanders, although what she was trying to say and the way she was spinning it was that, well, this is the reason why the president has been doing this is because there's nothing to see here with the Russia investigation and that we want it to get it uh, to be done with as soon as possible. That's not how law enforcement investigations work. That's not how special counsel investigations work. There isn't really much you can do as the president of the United States to, to expedite that kind of investigation. You could try to do what Richard Nixon did during the Watergate area and, and have a Saturday night massacre uh, of that sort. But as Lindsey Graham and other top Republicans have said up on Capitol Hill, and the Speaker of the House has said this, that the Russia investigation, that the Mueller investigation should go on, that would cause something of a constitutional crisis. And so what we've seen from this president I think it's pretty clear all along is just sort of pushing the envelope as far yeah. as he thinks it can go. Uh, and now I think the, one of the final uh, questions of this Russia investigation that Mueller's going to have to get to the bottom of is whether or not any of those efforts cross the line into illegality uh, that would fall under the heading of obstruction of justice. Now, when I asked Sarah Sanders about that during the briefing, anything improper, anything illegal, any obstruction of justice, she said no on all of those accounts. But of course, that is what you would expect to hear from a White House press secretary, but it hardly puts the matter to rest.